and another Renegade Con, another jam-packed day of reveals. As is tradition, let me go through and briefly highlight all the various Heroescape releases uh, and special presentations showcased, compressing a whole day of info into a nice digestible tidbit for you. If you don't know, I'm the Roguescaper, but let's not waste time on introductions, as we got a lot to cover. So we received a literal plethora of new character reveals, which will greatly add to the available units for the contemporary style of play. These units are bundled into boxes with general thematic sense and will be divided into two separate releases, coming out in February and April. All these units fall under the purview of the new story arc called Rising Tide, and these separate releases seem to be called Wave 3A and 3B by the community, but that's not official, more community nomenclature. Also, if you're looking to expand your pen collection, Renegade is offering a 10th anniversary pen to all pre-orders over $100, so might as well grab that if you're ordering from their website. With this literal surge of Rising Tide figures, I'll showcase them all off and mention any unique lore bits or abilities uh, that stood out to me. All these units have premium painted versions and an unpainted version as well, with the respective pricing listed uh, in the video. In the first booster box, we have Knight Primus Aldebaran, a strong yet silent bear who yearns to correct his mistakes, and certainly has the stats to do so. Following that, we have more of the bears, armed with the harpoon guns designed by their Vord brother. Definitely more of those guys later. The next box gives Olar some love with Halusia, the veritable Lorax of this game, who will also punish you for messing up the landscaping. And we get Sunlin, returning from the previous Swarm of the Morrow Master set, his baby dragon having hit a gross bird, and even earned himself an official name. Vesla. In a box all to himself, we have the Easy Bake Oven of Doom, the Hellforge Manticore. Let me just say that this guy is next levels of hangry. And yet another box we get Maladrix, a literal killer queen who took a rather ruthless road to becoming a mother. And in that same box, we have the Festering Honor Guard, Maladrix's prized firstborn, definitely mommy's favorite. Continuing on the bug train, the next set contains the Oathbound Legionnaires and Phalanx, one of the most unique units in the game. Together they form an angry bug ball that breaks apart and just does a whole lot of maddening damage. And yet another reveal, the once hinted general is now official, Valeric. And with her comes some of the aforementioned Vorids. We get Wing Commander Tuck Harrigan, who is absolutely braggadocious, and is accompanying the consort, the Vorid Glide Strikers, who are the masters of falling into battle with style. But that's not even all the figures revealed, as additional promo figures were showcased. In February 2025, the Thyraxis Dragoon will be available as an organized play figure, so you'll need to find an FLGS that is sponsoring the bat to get this. Note that uh, this unit is unpainted, and the render is for illustration purposes only, so better practice your painting for this guy. And continuing the ever-imposing line of Vidar Soborgs, we get Major Q11, who brings the pain in both range and melee matchups. This figure is available if you make any pre-order from Renegade for any of the April releases, included free with any purchase uh, from there. But the Deluge hasn't even finished yet, as two new terrain sets were announced for Wave 3A. First the Swamps of Valhalla, which gives a bountiful array of swamp water tiles as well as terrain, and two unique looking underbrush pieces. Swamps and trees uh, follow the standard rules with no changes. And preparing for the cold months ahead, they also revealed the snowfields of Valhalla, containing most uniquely the 24 hex snow piece and some new snow frosted trees. A pretty cool arrangement, if you ask me. And finally, Renegade has partnered with Army Painter to produce a series of paints in their Fnatic line. These colors were chosen from existing Fnatic colors, and many were renamed to give them that Heroes Heat flair. If you're looking to expand your paint collection with some very unique colors, this is honestly a good choice. Or if you simply want to have a Jandar Blue added, it's something pretty awesome to have as well. Now the most important thing to remember about these new releases is that they are being released separately. Your order will be bundled and shipped out with the latest uh, possible uh, release date if you don't order separately. If you want product in your hand, I recommend ordering Wave 3A, the February release, as one order, and 3B, the April release, as a second one. Of course, if you don't mind waiting, you can order it all as one massive order as well. If you're looking to order from Renegade Direct, I'm an affiliate with them and you can help support the channel and future giveaways by using my link at no additional cost to you. Now I just throw that in there. There was a roundtable discussion of Heroescape's developers on the panel where Lee Hoof 
uh, producer for Scape, as well as designers Alex Davey, S. Rowan, and Dylan Fernandez, who is quite possibly the best shirt in existence. It was a great segment to listen to, especially if game design is an interest of yours, or if you'd like to know more of the nuts and bolts of game development. There was also mention of some upcoming units uh, in the pipeline, coming more further than the distant lands of 2026 and beyond. Specifically, some acolytes of Revna with a hidden mechanic of reviving next to Revna heroes. I'm in you know, Revna's caves here. We'll talk a little bit about an upcoming unit, the Revenant Acolytes. Uh, so Rowan had an awesome idea for this unit. Um, these are followers of Revna who have pledged themselves to, uh, you know, to Revna body and soul, you know, in life, in death. Uh, they live, they die, they live again. Um, and they're really her most sort of, you know, fanatical followers. It seems that a future iteration of Rayland is in development, as we've uh, been told and hinted at from three of his Gen Cons, and that this Rayland will be vengeful, either in personality or design. They talked about how they plan on incorporating that aspect into the upcoming uh, figure and card. A new 2.0 of an existing hero was hinted at and left vague to rouse many speculations. The lava crabs, which were hinted at Gen Con, were mentioned that they may have a lava dropping mechanic, which the developers also acknowledged is a dangerous and escape game. So looking at another squad we've got coming out next year, uh, the Molten Crustaceans are, uh, they came in with this very strong concept of they are crabs made of lava. Developers continued their insistence on Hero Escape remaining backwards compatible, while still advancing the game state, providing new abilities or reusing abilities that may belong to older units and different forms. It's definitely worth a listen. Lots of interesting segments. And of course, a joking mention of Hero Escape Serial, Morrows. And rounding up the day, two special presentations from the community. First, my good friend Derek got to break into the new Eisenach and Kyrie Warriors from Wave 2 and let them all into glorious combat. It's great seeing Renegade interact with Escape community members, especially members who may not have the largest subscriber count, but they do have an overabundance of love for the game. And then some guy did a painting tutorial on the upcoming Hellforge. It was all right, I guess. Although I gotta say, he does look somewhat familiar. Yes, I did have the awesome opportunity to be a debutante painter on their channel. And honestly, uh, I'm too beyond words to say how crazy the opportunity was. It was one of my longest painting tutorials I've ever done as I tried to go into detail explaining how to get the Hellforge painted. As you may not have the Hellforge now, I definitely would recommend checking out when you uh, get the figure in your hand. And there you have it, Renegade Con, October 2024, all the Heroes Gate bits. Thanks so much for watching. A lot was revealed, and let me know what your favorite uh, thing revealed was. Uh, if you plan on getting in, or if you have any questions. Be sure to subscribe for more Scape content, and uh, definitely check out my other videos. There's some awesome giveaways and other stuff going on the channel at this time. Will you all take care, and keep scaping on. Bye.